Toby, tell me more about Lisa's death. It started like I always start. It's like bees buzzing around in my head. I'm so angry. I just want to crawl out of my skin, and there's only one way to stop it. And what was that, Toby? What did you do? I went up to Mitchell's room because I was going to get rid of him. That's what I was thinking about. And then the red mist took over. It wasn't Mitchell who had killed Lisa. What's going on here? Hello, Mr. Westwood. This is a closed session. This isn't a session. I don't even know what it is, but it's over. I'm taking my son now. Your son? He's mine. Bought and paid for, remember? Yeah, that, uh, that was a mistake. I'm a different man now. Go away, Felix. I know what I'm doing. Nah, I'm putting a stop to this now. You might want to rethink that. <sighs> I murdered my cousin, Lisa. You knew. And you're just using him for another book. What? I thought you were helping me out. Everything I'm doing now is to help you. The book will help others. You need to be punished for what you've done. It's the only way to heal. What do you mean? The only way to make things right is for you to turn yourself in. It's the only ending to this. For your book, you mean? Toby, she is messing with your head. Come with me now. I'm the one who raised you. And no wonder Toby's a mess. You didn't raise him, you abused him. I know what's best for you, more than he ever could. If you want to get better, you need to trust me. You have to make amends for what you've done. She's right, isn't she? I'm guilty. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do it. She didn't deserve to die. I swear, I never wanted to hurt her. Look, you don't need to go down like this. Not for her perfect ending. Isn't this what you wanted? For me to go down for my crimes? I thought it was. Prison is the best place for you. It's the only place damaged people like you belong. Every day I wake up in a nightmare. I just wanted to go away. Tell Celeste I'm sorry. I'm ready. Ready to turn myself in. Toby, what, what about Celeste? She helped cover all this up. Look, what about me? If you go through with this, we'll all go down. See, Toby? All he cares about is himself. You're doing the right thing. Toby, wait. Dr. Lay's right. I don't belong here with you. You're my brother and I love you. You can't go to prison. All you do is pick up after poor, damaged Toby. You have to look after me, manage me, cover for me. When will it all end? Don't do this. What will I be without you? Free. Toby! Don't listen to Lay. She's more messed up than you are. She's not even a real doctor. She failed to get through medical school. They threw her out for ethics violations. She forged everything. Her degree, her license. She's nothing but a con artist. It's too late. He's going back in the cage. You called the police already? No, I didn't. I did. No, 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 no. Ramsey Lay, I'm arresting you on suspicion of fraud by false representation and cruelty to a child. Once the book comes out, everyone will see I was right all along. Ms. Lay, we can do this the easy way or the hard way. I won't go back. Cleo told me everything. You used my son to write another book. The nerve of you to think that you could do that to my children again? Like once wasn't enough. I did it for the greater good. You did it for yourself. For the prizes, the accolades, everybody loving your big theory. Well, we're gonna do what you never did. Toby and Celeste are our children. And we're gonna give them a life. Show them what joy, hope and love is. Because that's what real parents do. I was right. Soon you'll realize that. Martine. 
you was wrong. You raised Toby to be unlovable, but his family managed to love him all the same. We know he can change. It's over. You'll never get the charges to stick. It's over. It is for her. But I haven't even started with the three of you. We were trying to protect you. The only one that needs protecting around here is my dad. And due to his illness, he has got enough on his plate and we are not telling him. But you should have told me. I'm sorry. All right, we've left Cleo back at the flat, so... <sighs> Come on, hon. What are you planning to do with that? I know she wasn't a real doctor, but she was right. I'm a lost cause. I belong in prison. I'm not a good person. Maybe not. But you could be. The way you are now, that was decided by some fake doctor, but the way you are from today? <laughs> Where's this coming from? Martine said a real parent protects their kids. I didn't protect you. If I don't turn myself in, I'm gonna keep back in this family. The fact that you care about that tells me there's actually a heart in there. That you care about people. When Dr. Lay had me locked away, all I thought about was my family. Cleo, Celeste, Martine. Even you sometimes. I thought you being in prison, we'd all be safe. That you was only out to hurt us. But I think you deserve a clean start. I got one. You deserve one too. Let's look forward, eh? You and Cleo, that's the future. Do you love her? You know, when your mother and I first got together, she was all I could think about. I think I fell in love with her from the first moment she rolled her eyes at me. But I didn't tell her. Talk to her, said I said I couldn't love. But you're right, I, I do, I, I love her. Then tell her, remember, clean start. Whenever you're ready, yeah? <laughs>